Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. So when you do use or incorporate rigorafenib in a later line setting, can you tell me a little bit about um, optimal dosing? Maybe some, a majority of our viewing audience is community medical oncologists. Can you maybe give them some practical points on Definitely. optimal dosing? Definitely. So the standard FDA insert says you should start off at a dose at 160 milligrams. Um, however, in my experience, those patients actually have increased toxicities the first time you start the regimen at the standard FDA insert dose. So I tend to start my patients at 120 milligrams, and actually a lot of my colleagues do the same. Some of them even start lower at 80 milligrams. Um, you'll see that the toxicities are usually the highest within the first two months of administration. And then I, my tendency is to dose escalate following that first restaging as long as the patient's tolerated it well. Just because the hand foot skin reaction can be quite difficult the first time for a new patient. And you want to make sure that if you're offering a patient an oral agent, you want to make it not only convenient, but something that they can tolerate. And how about in terms of efficacy, if you do make a decision to dose reduce, how is efficacy compromised? How are you able to maintain it? I don't think the efficacy is largely compromised by dose reducing for the first cycle or two, as I stated, because you have to make sure they're able to tolerate the treatment. And at the end of the day, if these patients are going to benefit from the therapy, they need to tolerate it first and foremost. And then you can dose escalate for the subsequent lines of treatment or cycles of treatment.